It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're partnering tonight with the MedStar Health Cancer Network, trying to educate you and give you an opportunity to answer questions. The number to call is 410-481-2222. But right now, we're in the studio with Dr. Del Corral, plastic surgeon at MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center, as well as the, the Bel Air Medical Campus. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for the invitation. Talk to us now about some of the latest advancements in breast reconstruction. Well, there are a lot of numerous advances in breast reconstruction. One of them is actually what we call a pre-pectoral reconstruction. Traditionally, we have used implants really after a mastectomy and they were placed below the muscle. Now, with the use of collagen slings, we're able to put that implant above the muscle. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for the patient? Really a faster recovery, less pain, and better outcomes. So it really has transformed the way we do implant reconstruction. What's the difference between the implant and the, the flap pr procedure? It sounds like it's taking fat from someplace else and moving it to a good place. Exactly. So an implant reconstruction is traditionally, it could be a tissue expander or an implant that is placed at the time of the mastectomy. Mm -hmm. A flap procedure, uh, also known as the deep flap, is really when we take tissue from someone's abdomen and we really use that to shape and reconstruct the breast. Implant reconstruction, traditionally, it's a shorter surgery with a short recovery time, but as you can imagine, having an implant in your body, you're gonna have to monitor that implant throughout your life. A flat procedure is your own tissue, so that tissue will age with you. If you gain or lose weight, it will change with you as well, so it can be sometimes for the right patient, a natural and softer reconstruction. Mm -hmm. You hear about a lot of uh, breast cancer patients dealing with lymphedema. What are some of the treatment options for that? Yeah, so lymphedema is really a, uh, a terrible problem the patient has developed after they were diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times it's hard for them to really uh, have a solution or a treatment. But lymphatic surgery is sometimes an option for those patients and is really given to the patient in conjunction to lymphedema therapy. There's different ways to reconstruct someone's lymphatic and the most common way to do it is when we actually do a what is called a lymphovenous bypass mm -hmm. and we can reroute the lymphatic circulation into the venous circulation to decompress someone's arm or leg. Mm -hmm. so Sometimes, you have like a fluid, right? Exactly. Or we can actually use lymph nodes and put them in an area where they can absorb some of that fluid in order to provide some relief for that patient. All right, Dr. Corral, thank you so much. The number to call, you got to get your questions answered. We've got a studio full of experts over there waiting to take your calls. Looks like they're on the calls right now, but still call anyway. 410-481-2222, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we're working for you. All right, they wrote about what...